All right, I don't know about y'all, but sometimes there's just so many things happening in my life and I'm just like, Jesus, where are we going? Where are you taking me? What's the future hold for me? I don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm worried and I'm anxious. And as you guys already know, God answers me through analogies. He speaks to me in a simple way because I need it put simply. So I'm gonna take y'all back to the Last Supper. This is the supper right before Jesus gets arrested to be crucified. And he's talking to his disciples, they're eating, they're communing, and he says, listen, I have to leave. I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna, where I'm going, I'm gonna prepare a place for you. And Thomas says to him, Doubting Thomas, that's what we nickname him in the Christian world. Thomas said to him in John 14, five to nine, Lord, we do not know where you are going. And how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And what God told me is, Jackie, you don't need to know the way. You don't need to know where you're going. You don't need to know the future. Because the future belongs to me, not to you. That's for me to know. And honestly, if you knew the future, you'd probably mess it up. And that's something that I learned from one of these amazing preachers online that I don't know their name. But the future doesn't belong to us. It belongs to God. And if we knew everything that was going to happen, how could we have faith in God, depend on God for the next steps? How could we walk with God in faith when we have the blueprint? He said, you don't know, need to know where you're going or the future. You just need to know who you're following. Whoever you're following, you are going to go where they go. So think about it like this. You've got a spouse that you trust. And they're taking you on a date. And they blindfold you. So you don't know where you're going. It's a surprise. And your ner your nerves are like bursting your your it's nerve wracking right when you have a blindfold you don't know if you're going to hit something but when you're with somebody that you trust that's leading and guiding you you trust them enough to lead you to the right place to not do you harm that you aren't going to bump into something that you you're going somewhere good that there's something good planned that they have for you and so even though we're in the darkness Jesus leads us and we can trust where we're going even though we don't know where we're going because we know who is leading us we can trust in him 100 percent. he said jackie your life is like a movie there's this one movie and i don't know the name there's this one movie that this woman is an author and she's writing this book about this guy and it's a fictional book right and she's writing this book about this guy and this guy's life and there's ups and downs and then, you know, climaxes, whatever. And in reality, this guy actually exists. And he finds out about this author somehow. And he comes and confronts her. He's like, why are you writing about my life like this? Like, it's, you're controlling my life and, and the ups and the downs. Like, so God said, Jackie, I am the author of your life. And I'm speaking to you right now. God is the author and finisher of your faith. He's the author and finisher of your life. He knows your beginning. He knows your end. And he says, Jackie, I want you to look at life like a movie. And you're the main character of your movie. And I am the author. I want you to trust the author that even though there's ups and downs, I work all things for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. I work all things for your good, the good, the little things, the big things, the bad things, the good, whatever. I work it for your good, Romans 8, 28. So even though there's like, you know, in movies, there's like a bad part, then he comes and then the author comes or the director and there's a solution for that, right? And there's a happy ending usually. In this case, with your story, if you follow Jesus, you repent of your sins and you have a relationship with him, honey, there's a, there's a good ending to the story. So he says, let the film roll and trust the process. Grab some popcorn, watch the film roll, trust me, and trust that I'm gonna figure it out. 
I am for you, I'm the author, and I'm for you, the main character. You know? Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Um, so then he said, he gave me these scriptures to back this up. He said, Psalm 139, 16, your eyes, and it's talking about God, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before any of them came to be. Your days, every day of your life, every detail, everything you say and do, and everything, God foreknew it and he wrote it down. He already knows the plan. God, Jesus said in Jeremiah, oh, I can't believe I don't remember. Okay, Jeremiah, it's in Jeremiah, look it up. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to help you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. So another verse, Matthew 6, 34, don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself. Let God worry about tomorrow. Sit back, relax, go with the flow and trust. Sometimes we go through tests, we go through tribulations, but even though the Bible says the trials of the righteous are many, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Yeah, you may have many trials, but honey, God's word is sure. His promises are sure. He said he will deliver you from all of your afflictions. So trust in the Lord. Let the film roll. Bring your un circumstances that come out of nowhere that are inconvenient. Come, Bring them before God. Say, I trust you, Lord. You're going to work this out for my good somehow. And keep walking with Jesus in faith. He is the author, and God is for you, not against you.